uh, mad dash this morning, and we'll get you an opening bell. You know, yesterday I spent some time talking about Elliott, Jim, as they were, along with a couple of other firms, buying a company, uh, notable for a few reasons, including the use of bank debt, good old bank debt, to get it done. It was a turnaround situation. Now they seem to be coming after another company that may be a turnaround. Yeah, uh, this is a Goodyear tire. They're not happy with, with Rich Kramer, KRA. Uh, what he's done at Goodyear. Goodyear bought a very good company, Cooper Tire, for $2.8 billion back in 2021. Uh, the combined company now is worth $3.3 billion, and uh, they've taken a 10% economic interest. David, I don't believe that this is going to lead to anything initially other than perhaps a conversation with the board about what Goodyear could do better. And frankly, Goodyear's got a huge number of stores. Thousand uh, stores. Thousand stores. And there's a question about why they can't do better. And I had uh, Mr. Kramer on Mad Money when the stock was considerably higher. Uh, he told a good story about technology and a better tire than anyone else. Yeah. But, uh, David, it's uh, not been working. Number three tire producer in the world. In the world. 70,000 employees. By the way, Elliott now owns 10%. 10%. It's a tiny market cap. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, why. You, I mean, you hear well, good year, you think, oh, $3 billion this, dollar company. It's a market billion, cap. Well, it it's used nothing. to be very big. Remember, in the there was a big run in the 80s. Remember, what, yeah. it used to be a much bigger company. And um, frankly, Although they have a lot of debt, so it's a $12 billion right, enterprise, enterprise value. $12 billion enterprise value. But uh, I'm concerned that the company has underperformed and that they're... So you think Elliott has something yeah, worthwhile to say here? Yeah, I do. I you think do. that when I look at the it's interesting when you look at the board of Goodyear, they've got very they've got some real heavyweights on it. It's not like it, it is not a lightweight board. I mean they have uh, Geisler who's retired vice chairman of Procter and Gamble. He's very good. Um, uh, Car Karen Lewis, president of Reliance Steel, that's a terrific company. Right. Uh, Lord Colner, who's the retired president of Boeing International. I mean, I, they can they can go to these people and say, listen, what are you doing, John McLeod, former CEO of Air Products, about this? A and I don't think this is, I think this board is probably saying, you know what, we need well, this Well, Elliot, Elliot's talking Williams a big game. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. saying they can create an additional $21 a share in value from here. Right. We'll see.